Hey guys, welcome back. I need to go to the attic, I think. I think I have- I have two keys on me now. I redid everything and I did a lot better. I only killed two zombies this time. Um, so now I'm gonna go here. And hopefully I can use one of those keys upstairs here on the door. And I also read that I was looking for the trap door, but it's not in that room where we had the talk, so... I need to do that somewhere else. I don't know where, but I just read that that's not where I do it. <laughs> the guide was actually like, don't make yourself look stupid <laughs> by looking looking for the trapdoor in that specific hall. I was like, well, that's exactly what I did. But we're good. Recording. We're all good. Let's do it. I am probably really slow compared to someone who's played this before, um, but I am really having a good time and I like the challenge. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. So I hope I can use one of the keys on this door. Let's see. Objects. Uh, steel key, gilded key. Steel key, steel key? No. Gilded one? No. Well then, I did all this for nothing. Shit. Where the fuck do I use these then? First feast? First floor east? Jesus. Okay. Ground floor west. Oh! Oh! Ground floor first floor. Oh shit! Oh, of course. I thought first floor was ground floor because that's what that's normal in America I think but in Europe ground you have ground floor and then second floor is first floor so um, that means I am not at all in the right place for these so first floor east should be on the floor it's probably up that stair up the stairs let me see calm down Nobody start killing me now. Um, up these stairs? Don't know where they lead, but... That must be it. It's the only thing I can think of. There's also the sealed door in the main hall, where I think I actually heard a monster, so that's great. I did save, by the way, after I did everything, so I saved just before this episode, so I really want to try and last the entire episode without saving. Because I only have three more left. I did forget to pick up the first aid kids. Fuck. I just realized. So, might want to do that too. Let's see, where is that compared to here? I, I can get that later too. Okay, so... So, so, so. I think I might just want to look up these stairs next to me. I don't remember what was up there, even though I recorded that like two hours ago. That's me! Did I? Yeah, I went up the stairs. Oh, and there was immediately a locked door. Maybe I can open this one now. Let's see. So... Not that one. Yeah! Oh, look at that! We can use it here. Okay. Music is very cool. I really like it. Yes? Cutscene Aline? again. Tarnby? Yeah. I just don't understand what part Obed Morton's playing in all this business. My feeling is that it's his brother who holds all the answers. Mm. His brother? Alan. Obed's twin brother. So that's it. It seems as though Alan Morton is... How can I put it? Diabolic. Yeah, that's the term that fits him best. I found okay. out he killed his own father, Howard, and used him as a subject for his experiments. He's a monster. Aline, 
You're holding something back. I believe. I think that Alan Morton, like some sort of Dr. Moreau, genetic manipulation of some kind, but not on animals, on creatures of darkness. Oh. Uh, that would explain. Aline, we've got to stop him. Carnby, I'm way out of my element here. And I'd be a liar if I told you I've got it under control. Just keep your chin up. <laughs> Great advice. Keep your chin up. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Well, let's explore and die. Shall we? Sealed up. Nice. Good start. <laughs> uh, where am I? On the left there? Yeah, so sealed up is orange. That's like locked by some mechanism, but can be unlocked. And then red's just locked by a key. Ah, Jesus. Oh, he phased. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. He phased through my thing. Okay. This is a door, come on. There we go. What do you got? I I seem to I I'm guessing, I'm not sure. But I feel like the monsters are just a timed thing. Oh wow. Ooh. Fancy. Um, so like the faster you go through it, the the less enemies you'll encounter. <gasps> oh, three? Are you fucking kidding me? I hit the jackpot. Oh, never mind. What the fuck. Uh. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I might caution. Okay. Can I get close without... No, not at all. I think I can kill it? There's something hanging above it. I don't know. Can I... I wonder if I can reach this item. Nope. There was something shiny there. Yeah, see, there is. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, fuck. Mm. I feel like this needs a Molotov or something. So many items back there. I really want them. I don't think I can... He doesn't even aim for the thing, so I, th I need to do something else with this creature. God damn it. I was so happy to see those items. Oh! This door leads back to the hallway. With the paintings. Sealed up, still though. Hmm. How do I unlock it? Okay, and that leads back to here. Hmm. Painting? Anything? Old picture of a young couple holding hands, as if the history of the Morton family contained a little happiness. I feel like I, s I skipped a door though, even though it wasn't on the map. Do I need to check here? No, it's just wood so of some kind. Okay. Well, let's leave the plant monster for now. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe grenade launcher, but I don't want to waste the bullet. If that's not it, you know? So I'll wait. Because this is the last one I'll record before like all of them go live. So uh, from this point on, when I get back to record more, I can like really incorporate you guys' advice. So then I'll probably know what to do. Okay, reload it. Let's check here. This chair looks movable. Unlocked it. What the fuck? Uh, uh, 
See the, these the main doors by the painting? I guess so, huh? By the paintings? Made a sort of shortcut. That's nice. Okay, lots of ways I can go. Was there a door here? No. There's this one, of course. Sealed up. Okay, that's for later. I hate these zombies because they're so quiet. Like, Resi, you can hear like, oh, when you're in the same room, even. It's just like, they're just waiting for you. Fuck, wrong button every time. It's because, like, in Silent Hill games and stuff, the map is triangle, so I keep pressing that. This is a long hallway. Fuck. Well, I guess I'll just check it out. That's a chair, right? Please let that be a chair. Okay. <laughs> Bust. Richard Richard Morton. Wait, 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 wait. Did I do RM? Oh fuck, where did I leave that page? No, I didn't. Let me try that next time I see the bust. Richard Morton. Morton. Okay. Let's check one last time. R RM, yes. Okay. Maybe that's it. Door's locked. I do have a key though. Let me just try one out of them here. <gasps> I locked it. Okay. Am I recording this? I am. Let's go then. Let's freaking check this out. So many shortcuts. <gasps> so much progress. Light, light, light. So they disappear when you turn on the lights. Sort of. It's not foolproof. I saw the lights switch. I was like, turn it on! Okay, there is something here. How do I grab you? Half of a photograph. 1408. Richard Morton, you don't know me and as long as you don't no me, your path will be strewn with pitfalls and perils. My name is Judas Deserto. Okay, that's three letters. Even if you may not know me, I know all about you. I know about your sleepless nights, the evenings you spend huddled, cold and alone. I know about your fear of the day and about the terrible loneliness you feel faced with the unknown. Face to face with something words can't describe. In the course of a life that has been too, too long, I have encountered the creatures of the night. I can help you overcome them, master them, and make them your slaves, your servants. You will find supreme power, the power of the absolute that knows no bounds for all eternity. You will find that wielding it brings intense pleasure. My name is Judas Lacerto, and already you are getting to know me better. In exchange for this power that already I feel surging through your veins, I ask you of you one small favor. A small request with which you... Which, with which you will not fail to comply once the time is right. All I require is that you send me the small promissory note enclosed signed with your blood. Here, my name is Judas Asserto. Why do you say it three times? And now you know who I am. Oh, I guess that's part of it. That's pretty cool. The notes are really good so far. A large ornate key. Charm of saving! Ay! Nice! <gasps> Two boxes! Yay! <clears throat> My voice is getting tired from all the recording. I'm recording so much today. Nine, ten episodes. Eden Shaw and I. No, that's so cool! Edenshaw was like a real father for us. He was Grandpa Jeremy's best and only friend. I always felt there was a strong bond between us, like we shared the secret of us. I remember when we were kids. Alan. Grandpa Jeremy. JJ? G G J? Mm. Jeremy would send days and nights on end in this workshop. My grandfather couldn't go without having him around. Picture taken during our visit to the Anthropology Museum in Boston. Grandfather organized a visit 
for my 15th birthday. Cool. Grandpa Jeremy's workshop. Alibaba's cave. <laughs> okay. We need a shot of the garden. Little about his native. He said little about his Native American origins, which gave him a certain mystery and a certain aura. 1991. Ellen's done something terrible. Howard, our father, we are going straight to hell. Okay. Intense. That's it. I found a key. Yeah, good enough for me. Um. I think that was... Oh yeah, this was the room at the end of the hall, so I, need still, I still need to check a couple more doors. Let's hope we don't get attacked. Here we go. This way. This way. Two doors. And it opens. Great. I miss my Silent Hill days where more than half of the doors are locked. <laughs> okay, light switch. There we go. Looks nice. What's this? <gasps> Another first aid kit. Yay! A gun rack. Empty. Enough to arm a garrison. Oh shit. Um, is there anything here? So you need to f shine your flashlight on it, I think, and then it shines. And then you can see where there's uh, interactable items. This drawer is locked. Hmm. I do have a small key, don't I? Oh no, I think I used that. Let's see. <laughs> My mom just waved to me. <laughs> I don't think this uses the large or nay key, but no. What would a. Oh, wait, let me examine it. Ground for a library. Wait. Haven't we already been in the library? Hmm. This is a book. <laughs> this is a book. The human shadow fusion has become a reality. All these years of groping my way along, how many false leads have I followed? How many detours? But today, today the truth is standing before my very eyes. Oh, Father, your veins run once again with life. What? The cells of the creatures of darkness do not contain, properly speaking, DNA. Rather, with a crystalline structure, rather a crystalline structure with surprising photosensitive properties is present. That's why they don't like the light. The creatures didn't reproduce, or rather, as if they multiplied after the manner of bacteria. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Behind the gate, I will know infinitely more. The fusion is based on a principle of surprising simplicity, for which I haven't yet mastered all the elements. Necessary to first extract a few milligrams of the crystalline structure. Uh, we'll go pass for a skull. Creature have neither skeleton nor flesh, nor properly speaking blood. Hmm. Closer to a mineral. Huh. That's weird. Once extracted, the crystalline structures are injected directly into the vascular system of the dead of a dead or a living human. I am persuaded I can perfect the procedure, mixing the crystalline structure of different creatures. I obtained a more stable result. I can't deny that, reading the lines I have just written, I have the impression of holding a treaty on medieval medicine. In, in my hands. Nonetheless, the truth, the fruits of my labor, world of darkness is revealing its secrets to me. So someone's like meddling, someone's like being Frankenstein, but then with actual monsters. Okay. Not just like body parts, also monster, monster parts. So cool. Oh, there's gotta be something there. Anything here? Projector? Broken down projector. Hmm. Okay. Nothing here? I think that's it then. 
Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, the light's off. No, 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 no. Turn it on. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. I was like, oh my god, three zombies. I am dead. <laughs> that was such a good scare. Holy shit. I saw my life flash before my eyes. Okay. Did I get anything here? I found a lock locked drawer, I guess. Hmm. I'm sorry if you hear that slight buzzing. Uh, it started today and I'm not sure what to do about it. Oh! Didn't I turn the lights on here? Well, let me check this now. Locked. Okay, um... Let's see. I only have one more key, do I? Don't I? Crowbar. Photograph. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go run to the light switch! Run, run, run! Don't take a turn, what the fuck? Oh, the lights are on here, though. <laughs> Bye. Okay, fuck. Let me have a look again at what the key said. It was- I think it was ground floor. I should be at the top of the stairs right now, right? No. Is he gonna come here or is he stuck? If you're stuck, I'm just gonna let you be. I really couldn't care less. Don't want to waste the bullets. Um, examine. Ground floor library. So I guess the door... It must lead to the ground floor library. There's only a couple more doors that are, aren't still locked, right? God, there's so many creatures here. The lights are on, dudes! Fuck off! I love that they disappear when you turn on the lights. That one dude did. That was so nice of him. Maybe here. No? How about this one? Yes! Oh, here we go. I shouldn't forget, I still have two health kits. Um, in the... In that one room with the owl statue. I still need to get those. Oh, cutscene! Oh. Holy fuck, I thought I was outside. That's a huge ass library. What the fuck? That's awesome. That was so cool. Oh no. Tornby? No, I'm no, in no. The library. <laughs> it's awesome. Turn out. Yeah, it is. Don't touch anything. What? It probably contains treasures. Do you really think I don't know the difference between a pulp novel and an Elzevor edition? An Elzevor? I'd never have guessed that such a term were part of your vocabulary. Wow. Oh yeah. Stop well, being a worry. bitch, please. I'm just full of surprises. Over. Please, dude. Light. Light, light, light. Yes. Okay. Let's, um, explore. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Sash is much older than everything else. I'm gonna touch all the things. June 1949. I am a Morton. Morton! I realize that today I have tried... I realize that today. I've tried for so long to escape my destiny, but my willpower was probably not strong enough. My fascination for the world of darkness has vanquished me, but I chose to resist cooperation, a choice my father never had because of that demon, the Certo. For I understood early on that only light can vanquish darkness. The magnesium bullets that were made in Italy have a remarkable effect on the smaller creatures, 
but they have proved inadequate to deal with the stronger monsters dwelling deep in the entrails of the night. The work of the French scientist De Bre Broglie was greatly ins has greatly inspired my research. The properties of light has uh, he discovered and its undulating nature are remarkable. It is thus possible to concentrate and amplify it, to rupture its movement and phase, and thus transform it into a ter terrible destructive energy. The information I want like grenades. The information I possess about the molecular structure of the shadows of the night is fragmentary, but my study of them has produced conclusive results that their capabi capacities for absorption of light energy are limited. Photoelectric energy at certain high levels destabilizes its chemical structure. Jesus, it's so hard to read. The molecular molecu molecules break down, and the entire macro macro system. It's macro in Dutch. That's why I'm like, hmm. If I could build a weapon able to concentrate light energy in by factors of up to 100 or even thousand, then if I had the technology. If there weren't limits, God, if someone only could help me. When Eden Shaw defeated the Certo, that malevolent being who let our family down a path to dishonor, I knew that my Indian friend had been sent to me by the gods. As a child, I saw him complete the incantation at the Circle of Stones, facing in the direction of the conjun conjunction. The Certo, who knew their power, employed his magical powers to dissimulate some of those statues from the eyes of man. Hmm. Grandchildren were born today. God alone knows what they will make of their lives. Howard wants to get them away from Shadow Island. I understand his reasons, but I fear that destiny will prove stronger. Research advances in leaps and bounds. Time is of the essence. I feel things stirring down below like they know that a date with destiny is nigh. Ooh. Certification of Darkness greets me with new surprises. It seems that I, they all possess the same generic heritage. It's as though they have all been cloned from the same root matter. Oh. I have finally managed to strengthen this three years later. The resonance, resonance power of the crystals. Only matter sends in my way. I tested the first version of the photoelectric pulsar and it literally fell into pieces in my hands. Am I gonna have a light gun? I fear I must brace myself for lo long months of adjustment and careful tuning. Alan continues to show remarkable intuition. His mind seems to be perfectly in tune with the creatures of the night. Hmm. I am unhappy with the direction his research is taking. My strength is abandoning me. Sharp pain. Oh no! Is this a dude that his son was like um, experimenting on? I now know that Ellen belongs to another world entirely. For the first time ever he first time in forever he told me about his real plans. He wants to fuse light and dark. Restore their original unity. Reunite them. Hmm. He has been waiting for the moment when I when I am too weak and old to oppose him. That's a lot of patience. For the first time in my life last night, I prayed. Dude, these texts are amazing. They're really lengthy, but they're really good. Some good writing went into those. I'll just check all the bookcases. There might be like a hidden item, you know? Or something to read. So far, nothing. Oh, stairs. Sure. What am I to do with the plant monster? Uh, what does this do? What are you? What dish? Box of rockets. Rockets? Are those for the grenade launcher, or is there a rocket launcher as well? This feels like a boss thing, doesn't it? I don't like this anymore. Should I save? Oh yeah, I'm a 30. Yeah, let's save. Fuck yeah. Oh, for a moment I thought I was <laughs> being attacked. Um, how many uh, healing items do I have now? There's still two on the ground floor that I skipped. I have five, nice. So seven. Oi oi oi. If only I had more things to save. 
What's this? What this? What do? Nothing? Wait, there's... There's things on the... Hmm. This floor doesn't really let me do anything yet, but I feel like those cabinets look like they could seriously move. What's this? Huh. How do I move it? No. No, no. Hmm. I haven't checked ground floor either yet. Properly, I mean. Because this goes further up. Let me check the ground floor a little bit more and then I'll end the episode. I think uh, enough happened this time. Lots of progress, I think. <laughs> My mom's like, I'm gonna do groceries! It's like signaling me through the window. <laughs> okay, mom. Get me lots of candy and chocolate, please. And don't forget the cheese. I'll send her a text. Mom! Chocolate! I want this! Oh, that book looks like it can be read. Don't give me too many pages, though. 49?! <laughs> the game is like, well, fuck you too, Gab. Jesus Christ. So many. Okay, we'll do that beginning of the next episode, because this is way too much shit to get through, and I'm a 30, so I want to cut it. I'm tired. I need a drink. So we'll explore more in the next episode. I hope you guys like it. I hope I get lots of super useful tips. I hope I do, I'm do. i doing well for you guys. And um, yeah, I hope uh, it's received well. So I'm looking forward to comments. And I'll see you soon with more. Bye!